The following presentation of the Mass is made possible by your generous support of the Catholic TV Network. The Catholic TV Network welcomes and invites you to celebrate the sacred mysteries, listen to God's Word, and in the Holy Eucharist, proclaim the victory of Jesus over death until He comes in glory. Pai, do Filho, do Espírito Santo. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Bom dia. Good, good morning. Um, we gather to celebrate as we continue to celebrate the Easter joy, the Easter season, even during the second week of Easter. We live that joy, the glory that is ours in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. But even as we come, we're always mindful of our need for God's forgiveness. And so let us recall our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Amen. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Amen. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. What am O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer <clears throat> and never to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, the Eudas appeared claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord. Thank you. 
is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glad The Lord be with you. O Senhor esteja convosco. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was before performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carrying him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the first reading, we hear from the Acts of the Apostles how the Apostles had been taken in, imprisoned, so it were, captured, and brought before the Sanhedrin. And this doctor, this rabbi, this teacher, Gamaliel, who had been a teacher of St. Paul, presumably when he was still a Jew, he stood up for the apostles. First, he described how Theodos and others had come, and they had gatherings of 400 following them. And when they were killed, put to death, 
they disbanded. And so Gamaliel warns them that either these men will be disbanded, this group, small group, although Jesus, we know, had many disciples, just 3,000 baptized on that first Pentecost. And if he was from God, then they would end up fighting God. And who wants to do that? And so they flogged them and they sent them out. Did they do what they were told not to mention the name? No. They went out and proclaimed Jesus to as many as they could. So they didn't give up, even though they were ordered to, because of what Jesus had implanted in them, which was a desire to continue to serve, to go out and proclaim Jesus, to proclaim God's love to all the people. And so that brings us to this gospel today, one of the signs that John mentions in his gospel of the seven signs that are written in the book, because we know that there were many more signs that Jesus had done that weren't talked about in the book. But the seven were there to show Jesus's power over nature itself. And so he comes across the Sea of Galilee to a place where there were a lot of people. And they had gathered there because they wanted to see what Jesus would do there. They wanted to have another sign, not just of curing the sick, but to see other things. Jesus knew that they wanted him to become more powerful in things of the world, not things of God. And so he, he tests Philip and then Andrew comes into the test and both of them fail. But that's okay because as long as you try, God doesn't fail you. And so Philip said, where could we buy enough food to feed all of these people? Because the gospel tells us there were 5,000 men. Now, I know how churches are today. And so if they were the same back then, there were a lot more women than just the 5,000 men. At any rate, those are a lot of people to feed. Andrew says, there's a boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. Now, why does it say barley loaves, not bread? Because barley was the food of the poor. And so Jesus makes of the food of the poor a sign, a miracle, to show them that even in their poverty, that God loves them and will provide for them. Now, my vavo, my grandmother, whenever we went anywhere, she would always have in her handbag biscuits. If you're Portuguese, you know that those are cookies, tea cookies. They're pretty hard. But when they're made with a grandmother's love, they're great no matter how you eat them. And when we were out and we had been there for a while or it was the Easter vigil or it was a long mass, as we were on our way home, she would go into her handbag and take out the cookies, the biscuits to feed us. Now, I'm not trying to belittle the miracle because the miracle did happen. But I think that while those 5,000 and more people were waiting for the five barley loaves that were multiplied and the two fish that were multiplied, to get to them, they probably stomach started growling even louder. And so someone took out a piece of cheese, a piece of bread, and they started sharing it. And so therein there's another miracle because Jesus Christ opened their hearts to charity, to love, to share what they had instead of holding on to it begrudgingly for themselves. And then the miracle spread through that entire group, so much so that there were 12 baskets left which signifies for us the apostles then who went out. Now, Jesus goes alone because he didn't want to be carried off. But nothing can stop the message of Christ unless we do. We're the ones who cannot proclaim who Jesus is and what Jesus does in our lives. The apostles, even though they were threatened with more punishment, went out and proclaimed Christ. The people, they wanted to make Jesus a king, but many of them continued to follow him. In this gospel, in John, we hear in the chapter of six, how Jesus continues to talk about the bread of life. We'll hear those in the coming days, but it's such a beautiful gospel. As at the end, some of the disciples did leave. And Jesus looks at the apostle and says, are you going to leave also? And Peter says, Lord, to whom shall we go? You are the Christ, you are the Son of God, you have the words of eternal life. 
as the psalm reminded us. God is so good that we have to want to be with him in the kingdom forever by following his love. As we continue our prayer, we offer in faith and love these petitions, these prayers to our loving Father. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Together we pray. God of new life, hear our prayer. God, God of new life, life hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those whose farmland and pastures have been affected by climate change, we pray. God, God of new life, life. Hear our prayer. prayer. For our government officials, may they work to support our farmers and sustainable agriculture, we pray. God, God of new, new life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have not yet chosen to feed their faith through prayer and sacrament, may they follow the promptings of the Spirit this Easter season, we pray. God, God of new life, life hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have chosen not to feed the hungry in their midst, may their eyes be opened to the suffering of their neighbors, we pray. God of new life, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering from eating disorders, may they be given the care and help needed to thrive and live, we pray. God of new life, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray, God, God of new life, life yeah. hear our prayer. In a special way, we remember those who have asked for our prayers, and especially those who have known to pray for them. We pray, God, God of, of new, new life, life hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty and loving God, we thank you for the gift of prayer itself. We ask you to keep us always in your love, so we may share that love abundantly with our sisters and brothers especially those most in need. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accepting compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Me stare you the fair. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all the apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Or Cristo com Cristo, em Cristo, a voz Deus Pai todo poderoso, na unidade do Espírito Santo, toda a honra e toda a glória, agora e para sempre. Amen. 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 The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, and I so shall be healed.
What image? Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, the redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Happy Easter to all of you joining us. Feliz Pascua para todos que estão conosco. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. We have worshiped God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord has invited us to the altar, and this great prayer has brought benefit to ourselves, the church, and the whole world. Please help the television mass to continue by sending a donation to Bishop Reed, the Catholic TV Network, P.O. Box 9196, Watertown, Massachusetts, 02471. Join us anytime on Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire or watch and contribute online at catholictv.com.